Hello and welcome to Aeroship channel. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you some uh, basic geometry editing options for uh, uh, surfaces, uh, which will enable you to do a good mesh using uh, either quad mapping or uh, netgen option. So let's get started. Uh, here is the um, model geometry file that I'm going to use, wherein I have um, four components here. So I have the rib. I have the front spar, I have the skin, and the race part. Uh, this is a file that I have imported from an IGS file, and as you can see here, there are some gaps in the in the geometry. So when I mesh them, they are not going to be uh, coincidental nodes, or you know the nodes are not going to be coincident at those locations. So uh, this is not an ideal geometry for meshing. So what I'm going to show you now is uh, how to edit these surfaces so that uh, uh, we get a good mesh so the operation that i'm going to use now uh, so first i'll select all the four surfaces um, go to boolean operations and uh, try to fuse them so all four objects are selected there apply and close so as you can see here the gaps on the rib to skin are are gone in this now but there is a gap in the skin of surface here so which is not uh, uh, fixed now so we need to use a different option so i'll go back to the basic components now uh, before i do that so only for the skin what we can do is we can use a sewing operation so if i go to repair option repair and sewing so i selected the skin there and uh, uh, based on the measure based on the gap there you can define the tolerance that uh, uh, that will be required so if you click on detect uh, free boundaries it will tell you how many free boundaries are there for that particular surface as you can see here that shows a few boundary whereas i want it to be a closed boundary so if i say apply so that's closed now so if i do it again detect a free boundary so that's no longer a free boundary now it has been closed so now if i use this surface and the remaining previous surfaces and then repeat the boolean operation fuse operation so i'm going to get uh, completely closed surfaces now so it's closed in closed at all locations as you can see now i can mesh this in the meshing module to get a good mesh so i'll go to the mesh module now Like the fuse two there, create a mesh. When I create a mesh, I want to first try the quad mapping option. Uh, in this option, the element size can be defined uh, by the 1D option. So before I do that, I want to see the distance here so that I can define the number of elements or the element length. So I go back to the geometry module. Let's see the uh, distance here. So if I select that point there. Plus some dimension 28, 10, and 4.29. So, as you can see, the distance between the term, term is about uh, 7 um, inches in this particular case. So, I want about uh, 5 elements, so I'll define um, approximately about 1.5. Okay, I'll go back to the meshing module now. Create mesh 2D option. If I go to quadrangular mapping, 1D and uh, white discretization i want to select the local length i want the length to be approximately 1.5 say okay apply and close and if i compute the mesh there are some errors here so because of some some sites don't have the four surfaces we'll show that what that means here so if i show only the uh, mesh now as you can see here it has meshed uh, the surfaces that it could mesh using the quad mapping but it has not meshed the uh, surfaces which have only three sides so as it is difficult to mesh with the quad um, so there are various op various ways to fix it so before we show the different options so as you can see just double checking the 
coincidental nodes here between the skin and the spar as well as the skin and the rib and, um, and at the end as well coincident nodes there so that's all how we want it to be missed so now coming back to the rib problem where the surface is not um, uh, surface doesn't have the four surfaces what you can do is we can uh, uh, create some lines and uh, do uh, create a quad mapping I will cover another tutorial later on as to the detail of it or you can check the previous tutorial on my channel with, for a plate with a hole where you draw a lines and uh, you can force the mesh to be quad mapping so that is a possibility but in this mesh what I am going to show now is actually uh, using a net, uh, net gen option how the mesh is going to be so now I create another mesh now um, <coughs> so in this case I want to select the net 1d 2d option um, so I have to define the parameters so maximum size again I will stick to 1.5 minimum size I want it to be approximately half or one third of that so leave the okay, so I want it to be quad dominated there that's okay line close and if I compute this mesh now because netgen has the option of so in this case only there is a problem in mesh generation only one location here uh, we can see the details of that but let us check how the mesh is so as you can see here it is able to mesh all the surfaces with uh, all the coincidental nodes so only at some locations the nodes or the element shape is not not very good uh, it might fail the checks but uh, and this is the surface which the curvature has uh, failed or curvature is not uh, kind of the mesh is not following the curvature so we can redefine or readjust the parameters to get a good mesh but i prefer the quad mesh Quad, quad, quadrangular mapping mesh um, but to get the mapping for the other surfaces you need to break the surfaces and you need to draw some lines on it uh, and then fuse them together or make a partition as shown in my previous uh, tutorial so that's all I wanted to show in this tutorial uh, hope uh, the geometry editing options are useful for you in uh, some of the works that you might be able, you might be doing thank you Thanks for watching.